I may be a little bit out of breath, so I apologize if everything is a little bit incohesive. After recording and uploading the previous video on the channel, I ended up going to the local floor hockey event, and I ended up playing a scrimmage, so... I am kind of tired, kind of sweaty, wasn't expecting to play, so I ended up playing with boots and pajamas on. So, yeah, local floor hockey, pretty great. But I rushed back home after finishing up our scrimmage because I wanted to make a video about this. Vancouver's Nikita Zadorov has been suspended for two games for an illegal check to the head on Detroit's Lucas Raymond. Now, this tweet has 152 replies. A lot of them are angry. 185 retweets. A lot of these are quote tweets. And again, they're angry. And then there are a lot of likes as well. Here's the thing that I wanted to address at the very beginning of this video. I recognize that a lot of people have their own opinions about how NHL player safety is handled, how the inconsistencies from call to call to call to suspension to suspension to suspension have been there. We don't really have a constant measurement of how much things should be worth, and when it comes to the magnitude of how suspendable, quote-unquote, certain things are, it seems more like a wheel of fortune, spin the wheel, get any result kind of thing from week to week. So with that being said, I can totally understand if the comment section goes out there and just starts lambasting the NHL player safety for suspending Nikita Zadorov because they went too heavy, because this was too much of a suspension, or if Red Wings fans are going to tune in and say, yeah, no, that's deserved. The comment section is your floor. This video is just going out there and talking about what happened because the video is indeed published on the NHL's video player. I can't play the clip for you, but I guess we can splice through it in small snippets because that technically isn't playing it. So Lucas Raymond, number 23, coming into the zone, making a pass over to his left. And while he makes the pass, he's not looking at Nikita Zadorov, who's that white dude in front. Okay, that sounds really wrong. The guy in the white jersey in front of him who's coming in for the hit. Raymond's eyes, his body posture is focused on that Dylan Larkin that he's passing the puck to on his left side. So by the time the hit comes along, you could see that Raymond is not really bracing it. That's not really his fault. You're trying to make a play. This is what happens when you try to pass the puck forward in hockey. But Zadorov is closing in on Raymond at the exact same time. And once the initial body contact is made, Raymond is leaning forward a little bit. Zadorov is kind of skating into him like one does when they're trying to make a hit. You can see that Zadorov is leaning a little bit forward too because based off of the position of his feet, he's skating sort of sideways into Raymond. And then with the contact, it looks like it's maybe shoulder on jaw there from this angle. And there's the follow through, which pushes more of Zadorov's bicep into Raymond's, let's say, neck, lower jaw area. And then because there's even more impact, Zadorov's like head ends up going in there as well. And there's a lot of impact that gets swiped over onto Raymond's top half. And here's the thing. After Raymond got hit, he was kind of like dazed in the way that he responded to it. He stayed on the ice for a while. It definitely wasn't like a clean looking exit out of the hit. And then I guess NHL player safety determined that this was suspendable for two games. A legal check to the head, no history for Zadorov, and I think it's here. Yeah, the way that Raymond recoiled in pain after the hit was landed, I feel like that partly made it seem a little bit worse, but... I don't know, that's just kind of my own perspective on it. I didn't watch this part of the game live. I had to replay it a little bit. As I had said, I didn't wake up early enough to watch this game in full. But Nikita Zadorov is out for two games. So for Vancouver, what does this mean? No Carson Soucy, no Nikita Zadorov. You're going to have to keep Juleson around. Does that mean Mark Friedman gets a game? Do they call somebody else up? What's going on here with the Vancouver Canucks? We'll see what happens with their defensive situation tomorrow against the Washington Capitals. But for now, Nikita Zadorov has been suspended for two games for an illegal check to the head on Lucas Raymond. Let me know in the comments, is this fair? Is this just? Is this unjust? To Lucas Raymond's credit, he did come back into the game and he was fine. He scored a bunch of points in this one and looked fairly good towards the end. I will say, though, after he did return, you could definitely tell that the hit bothered him because he was going out there and body checking the heck out of guys. Lucas Raymond, man, he's got that agitative bite when he really, really wants it. So 
We saw that earlier today. Zadorov got suspended for it. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Shorosanayanine. And bye.